Hey, Kenny, just a minute. Let me adjust everything here. There we go. <laughs> hey, Sammy, Julie. Hi, everybody. Let's see if I can get this locked in. Okay, I got a glare, but so we're gonna work in a band. So I just set this up for the thumbnail. <laughs> I just brought my chess pieces up here to make a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see here. Are we focused? I don't know about the black background. I think I need to do something else for the background. Let's see here. Hi, Eileen. Of course, there's a glare because it's a shiny book. How's everybody doing? Can you hear me okay? I forgot to check my levels. Let me go check my levels. And I don't know if it'll change while I'm working on it. Let's see. Um, sounds, recording, microphone, properties, levels. Okay, I turned the levels down. I don't know if that made a difference or not. <clears throat> but I turned them down. Does that sound better? Hi, Janet, Terry. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Where's my phone? My phone's plugged in over here. Hang on. Oh, hang on, guys. Uh, soundboard. <laughs> Good morning, Terry <laughs> and everyone. All right, so let's see. I'm knocking stuff over. So it got bright again. I don't know if it's the black. It could be. You just might have to play with this for a minute. It's too dark. Light balance. Ooh, no, no. How's that look? <clears throat> I'll probably have to change it if I move the black. Hey, Melody. Now let me say hi to everybody. Karen Merle from South Australia with the last name of Ireland. Love that. <laughs> hey, Pacola. Sharon, Darla. Thanks, everybody, for being here. It's hump day, people. What? Mike? Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Travis. So I'll let everybody get, get a seat. Come on in. Grab you a, a craft table or an art table or an easel. <laughs> Hi, Zeely. You got your first pen pal stills. I know. Aren't they fun, Esther? I know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a pan pastel uh, next show. Well, I don't know if it'll be Friday or Monday, but we're gonna do a pan pastel on Friday or Monday. So yeah. <laughs> hey, Sus. Let everybody come in and say good morning. If you're watching this re the recording, it's a live show. 
And uh, so I say good morning to everybody. I should have touched up my nails. Let's just do that for a second. <laughs> and uh, I'm probably going to move this black background. I just had that there for a picture. So I'll probably move that and, um, and see how the lighting is for the book. Because the book's going to, well, I don't know. Because I probably need the tilt. I need the tilt for the, keep the glare off the pages. We'll see. Yes, they're my chess pieces. It's from a chess set my dad got me in Korea in 1972, three, something like that. I don't remember. Early 70s. He got me this, a chess set. It's the one the kids play. The grandkids learn chess on it. It's um, the family chess set. Yeah. And I just brought up a couple pieces so that um, I have something like next to the book for a photograph. So I just, I just picked a few. I just picked a few off the table. Thank you, Esther. Yeah. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to move. I think I'll put my flower board back up because it may be less um, light reflective. Yes, I'll be on Labor Day. If we do any family thing, it'll be on Sunday. So I'll be here Monday. It, you know, if we do a lake thing or whatever, it'll be on it'll be on Sunday. All right, so I'm gonna move the board. This is the big board that I put in front of the window when it gets uh, too sunny. But I have this little board here. So I can prop it up just enough to take the glare off. Now, let me readjust the light here. That's just to take the glare off. And um, let me zoom in one, too. So let's readjust some more. No, uh, that might be too close because i got to open the book. So there we go. Something like that. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that one. Let's see what the focus. And don't forget, guys, in your settings, uh, make sure your settings in YouTube are at set at H, uh, HD because sometimes YouTube defaults you back to 144. So you may need to put your personal YouTube settings at uh, HD, at least 720. Hey, Jean, Kimberly. I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Don't forget, if you talk to me, put it in caps. Um, so I know you're talking to me. How's the sound, guys? I turned the levels down. Is the sound okay? I don't know. I'm kind of it's kind of far away. Is that better? I don't know. Hey, Jill, Katrina, how you doing? Sound is good. Thanks, Travis. Hey, Karen, Lisa. Storming where you are, Teresa. Hi, Karen Bot. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've read those, uh, Karen. I think you're talking to somebody else, but I saw the mention of the book. If I see the word book. <laughs> uh, so uh, remember, guys, if you talk to me, put it in caps. Put it in caps, okay? Hey, Star. Sharon. Katrina, I just got it. Connie, you. Connie sent it to me. But I have to say, guys, I have, I have another copy on order. So I will have one to work in and one to not work in. <laughs> So um, yeah, I have another. I have uh, another copy on the way. Oh, that's okay. That I just then I just may not see what you're saying here. Uh, if you're talking to me, 
Karen. That's the only thing. I just will not probably see your, if you talk to me, I probably won't see it. Elizabeth Spooky House of Books. Hi, good morning. You're not late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I come on a few minutes early just to say hi to everybody. So, yeah. So I have another book on order. Here's the thing. Connie told me she was sending it to me. And um, she'd got hers and mine hadn't come in yet. And I said, oh, I hope it's coming in. I said, I better, let me go see how many are in stock. And there were only two in stock. I don't know how many are in stock now. But um, yesterday, there were only two in stock. So I went ahead and grabbed another one. So, <laughs> so I, got, I got one to work in and one to uh, play in. Hey, Joy. Hey, Marsha. Hi, Jackie. Everybody coming in. Good morning. Hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Hump day. Hump day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep, Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Terry. Okay, so I did pull out a lot of collage stuff already. I mean, I pulled this out of my one of my bins of collage. So I have a stack here to work with. And uh, and then while I was going through it, look, I found this right. Well, I found this one and I found this article in here. The world's oldest page. This picture, I think, Kieran photographed in here. The hands. This was from... When was this article? When did I rip this out of a magazine? I don't know. But anyway, I, I saved this. I saved this stuff. <laughs> and um, it, a, a little article on it. So I just found a couple pictures of things that I think he's using, he actually uses in the book. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a flip. I'm going to start a flip. Don't and again, I'm, I'm sure the light's going to change as we go. I'm going to take the cover off. Um, it has the same cover as the dust jacket. I'm just going to take this off. I take them off of all the books, you know, and I save the dust jackets in another pile. But that way, um, I'm not fighting them when I'm altering. So um, yeah. So, Abandoned Civilizations, The Mysteries Behind More Than 90 Lost Worlds, Carrie and Connolly. And I did tweet him, and he already thanked me and liked it. You know, I sent him an original from the uh, 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 one of the other book, his other books. So, this will be book number six in my abandoned book. <laughs> Change, you know, Make the Worlds, Abandoned Book Worlds. This is number, let me see, let me see. Slide up just a little. Here we go. This this is number six. So I'm going to do a flip through. Let's get the light adjusted for white paper. I think that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so I hope everybody's having a good good Wednesday. I'm just going to do a flip right now of all the pages so y'all can see it. And uh, if you know, it was available first at Amazon UK, and then it got to here, and then it keeps selling out. I mean, I, there's so. Oh, and I did do. I did take a few notes. Where's my notes? I'll show you those in a minute. I did kind of go through and take. Let me move all my chess pieces. These are going to be in the way. <laughs> I just laid these out next to the next to the book to have a photograph. Is there? There's two left. Okay, Terry, two left. And so I bought another one. So now I'll have one to work in and one to play in. So they're just awesome, beautiful pictures. Of course, I love all the abandoned books, you know. I love abandoned places. I love abandoned, you know, here's, here's one of these. Is this the same one? I think that's a different one. I'm trying to match it up like a puzzle here. <laughs> and um <laughs> and uh yeah well I should I should Jean but 
I just, I love the abandoned places. I love the abandoned, um, you know, factories, the abandoned everything. And the, and then this one's abandoned civilizations. So I just, I like this so much because I love history. I love old, I love ancient history. Um, so this book will, you know, I want to have this book as a reference as well as a play. So I'm going to play in this one, and then I have one coming. Yeah, petroglyphs, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just doing a quick flip here so you can get an idea what's in it. So you need to, if you, you know, if there's only two left, the, they'll probably restock. I guess they restock, they re get another batch from, um, from UK. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, so I, I made me some thumbnails of some of, while I was flipping, uh, looking at uh, each picture, I've made, made a few thumbnails. I love, I love Petra. Um, uh, I I did a few thumbnails of some of them, Masada. I want to do um, some ideas for some of them. You got yours, Kenny? Yeah. Okay, Kenny got one. Okay. <laughs> but they'll they'll restock, guys, because I've seen them sold out and restocked. I don't know, three or four, maybe more times, right? And um, so Connie got me this one and then I just bought, I bought another copy. So isn't it awesome guys? I have so many plans for these pages. <laughs> yeah. So many plans for these pages. I'll give you a glimpse at my thumbnails, <clears throat> but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. I want to, yeah, <laughs> I have, I want to do them online, you know, here. Oh, thank you, Shara. Thank you. Shara likes to color and chat. Thank you for the super chat, Shara. Is it Shara or Shara? Is it Shara? I think it's probably Shara. Um, no, I, I don't. Well, I really don't need to do a maybe. I might do a before, but I got another book coming the other book coming Pacola. So I don't have to do a before photograph because I'll have the, uh, I'll have another book. That's not, um, that's not altered. Right. So I'm gonna have one to alter and one not altered. Here's those hands. See? What's that art saying? <clears throat> Thank you, Shara. Sh it's like share. share. Oh, so it is Shara. Okay, Shara. Okay, like share a cup of tea. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Shara. Uh, okay, this one here is the caves in Santa Cruz, Argentina. And that, you know, see, this is the stuff I want to keep. I want to keep that information because I love I love history. And um, <laughs> so I, that's why I ordered another book. Um, that being said, um, Pacola, I can try to take the way I work in my books, though, is I'm working on different ones all the time. So I might start like going through and just getting rid of all the text. Right. You know, blocking out all the text. And if I do that then I'd have to be take, I might as well just photograph the whole book because I'm going through the whole book at one, one go, one go around. I'm going through the whole book at sometimes and just working here and there and here and there. So I can't really just say, okay, today I'm going to do this picture. I'm going to take a picture of this and we're going to work on that. I mean, today I might do some of that, but when I'm working by myself, I'm going page to page and back and forth. So, you know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> but I am going to that I am going to have the second book so that if someone goes, "Oh, well, what did that page look like before?" I can show you that book, right? I've already got two. Maybe I need to get another abandoned places cuz I've already gone through two abandoned places. So I have I have ideas for all a lot of these. I'll show you my thumbnails. I don't know if I want to do 
Should I want to do Easter Island? Hmm. Maybe I'll do Easter Island today. I don't know. See, I don't know which one I'm going to do today. I haven't, I didn't pick one. Isn't this book awesome, Pacola? I know, right? It's just awesome. Does anybody else see new worlds in there? Like I do. <laughs> oh, does anybody else see new worlds? Okay, so again, this is Abandoned Civilizations. Where's the light there? And um, let me move my little chess pieces way over here on my way. So um, let me just grab two, his other two books here just to give you a brief, in case you've never seen altered books. So in my abandoned, I have abandoned places and abandoned castles. This one I've only done a couple things in. So let me just show you the couple of the ones I've done in here. And this is a book I, I did a piece out of and then uh, sent it to him. Okay, I got really bright again. Hang on, guys. Let's readjust again. There we go. So this is one of the ones we've done in, in Abandoned Castles. We'll do a little flip through here. And then this one, we did this one in Abandoned Castles. And then the one I sent him, and then this one. This one I actually did varnish because they'll eventually they'll all be varnished. See how I varnished it? So here's, I think this is the last one we did. So this is this is what we do with our um, castle, our, our uh, abandoned books. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so I really, really like this one. And I think that's all in here other than blocking out. See, I block out different areas to play. So that's Abandoned Castles. <clears throat> and then Abandoned Places. There's quite a few in this one. I'll do a little quick little flip. They're all awesome to work in to me. You know, they're all awesome to work in. And again, if you love the books. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Sharon, so much. You're so sweet. All you girls. Remember, if you send me a super chat or um, PayPal tip jar, email me your address and I'll send you one of my art cards. I sent out a whole stack of them yesterday. So thank you, guys. I'm, I'm sending out my art cards. I have here. I have one here I kept to show as an example. Well, I have different kinds, but this is from this last batch. Um, this is from the la this last batch. So if y'all want an art card, uh, just email me. Thank you, guys. So this one's varnished. Um, and this one has a lot started in it. I think I'm going to have to block some of the it keeps really wanting to flash out. So this is my black my blackboard there. There we go. It puts me a little in the dark, but it it keeps the light from changing so much. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let me readjust the autofocus too. Hang on, guys. I want to get it too dark. How's that look? Okay. <clears throat> so this is what we do with the abandoned books. We turn them into our own worlds. Ugh, the flash out. Remember, guys, ask me in cabs. Um, yeah, I'll put it in the description box, Kirian. Bot at the end after the show, and then if you just email me your address, because I don't have, I don't get addresses through that. So I'm just going quickly through this one just to show you. This one has the most done. I mean, almost every page has something on it. 
Um, they're not all done. See, this one has not, well, it has a little bit of uh, glue, but um, this one's done. If I come to one that's done, I'll tell you. This one's done. Why does it, it looks a little crooked. Why is that? There we go. There we go. The book looked crooked. This one's done. And some of them are done that are not varnished yet. You see all this right here? That's all pencil and paint. That's paint. And I know some of y'all have seen these a lot of times, but you know, then when I the, when I go to work on people go, "What? Well, what do you mean?" <laughs> this one's done. In progress. This one's done. There's and when I say this is done, more times than not, there's going to be a video on them. Nothing on that one. <clears throat> This one's done. So they look a little dark, but it's, this is the right color. The, the, the camera set, it looks a little dark, but that I, I wanted true color on the piece. And that's, that's the true color. So thanks so much, guys. Y'all are awesome. So eventually I'll have it done, the book. I have, like I said, I have six different books, three of the abandoned ones by Kieran Connolly, and then uh, a couple, uh, three others. Love looking at these. Oh, thanks, Katrina. This one we did a little demo on. Somebody, this was four different pictures, and somebody wanted to see how I would blend four pictures together. And so here is four separate photographs that I blended into one photograph. You like him, Kenny? <laughs> uh, this one, see, right here, this is what happens if you don't put uh, wax paper between your pages when you're working. You'll get your matte medium uh, seeping through. And so I accidentally, you know, glued those two pages together. So I had to tear them apart, but I'll fix them when I go to work on it. Thank you so much, Mer Meryl. This one, I have a, 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 I put a person in, I, and it's varnished. I don't put many people. I have a few that I put people in uh, because I want you to be the person. You're the person in the world, you know, so. But this right here is one of my favorite things in this piece right here. I love my little sky bridge. So, yeah. Hey, Packer Die, Lynn. I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. This one we did recently, too. We did this one kind of recent. This one's in progress. In progress. In progress. This one, I'm putting an opening in the sky there. <laughs> I like the space foxes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe you want a friend in your world well that's true Zeely. that i put i put people in them occasionally <laughs> these are torn out planes from another you know abandoned i think a calendar and i tore them off of a calendar and i'm like combining them <laughs> this one's in progress this is going to be my writer's table uh, see it wants to flash out guys there keep my hand there somehow <clears throat> so yeah i love my i love my abandoned books this one's varnish see my little person down there <laughs> in progress this one's done this, i love this is one of my favorites um this water was right here it looked like this all the way down so put waves here and then the stars beneath and then this is all glued in. This is all paint here. So it's just so much fun, guys. And again, this one's done. If you don't like abandoned places or, you know, lonely places, then get a book. Get a book to alter that is a theme, a topic, a subject that you like. Because if you don't like it, you're not going to work a whole book. You will not finish a whole book. 
why is this really, really off? You won't finish it, right? So pick a topic that you, you like. Gardening, architecture, uh, a, you know, this is going to have a star chart all in the back. A, uh, a world that has, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a, you know, a place in the world, that, you know, vac you know, vac not I'll say vacation, uh, travel books, um, you know, like if you like Italy or whatever, then, you know, get you a book on a topic you like. Thank you, Pacola. I appreciate that. Thanks for putting in the link. This one's done. We did this one kind of recently. Let's see. Kind of a bit of uh, Dolly-esque. <laughs> I really like the way this one turned out. And then there's a person. <laughs> uh, are you? These are your favorites, Diane? Yeah. I loved them. Here's one that's, you know, in progress. Collage bit started. So once I start working on a page, guys, I'll readjust the lighting. I just kind of want you to see, you know, some of the ones. There's the... Uh, uh, ton, the Tunzi, you know, Tunzia, ton, yeah, Tunzi, Tunz, uh, Tunzia, <laughs> Tunzia. <laughs> where Star Wars was filmed. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. See, here's one that has like four pictures to try to blend those together. This one has no collage, it's all paint. And the little people there are part of the, the photograph. In progress. In progress. So this one's abandoned places. This one's done here. This is one of my favorites as well. So it's just fun to create your own worlds, right? And then, you know, buy one. If you love the book, buy one to keep. Like, oh my God, I do. I have two of these. I'm going to have to get another abandoned places because uh, I've used up two abandoned places. And then um, abandoned castles. And now I'm going to work in abandoned civilizations. So, yeah. So let me show you. Let me get into my binder here. Oh, yes, binders. Should we speak about binders? <laughs> For my um, for my uh, project, my quote brush lettering brush lettering project. Here I got a few little brush lettering sample things. I'm gonna, like you know, want to practice some more brush lettering. Here's like this. Here's the other. Like this. So I want to put my brush lettering in a. Oh, I'm, I got my back to the microphone. I want to put my brush lettering in a uh, new binder. And I did not know that that Jane Davenport one that I did. I guess I just didn't finish that video of Xander's when I was watching the recording. But I did not know that that binder had like it was a ring binder. The one Xander showed on her show, the Jane Davenport one. So Xander sells them in her shop. So I bought one of her the Jane Davenport binders to do um, my brush lettering quotes in along with, remember I showed y'all last um, the other day, maybe it was Monday. I showed y'all um, how I want to put like the scrapbook paper that has white on one side and then the paper on the other side and do my brush lettering quotes and like tear them out and put them on top of the scrapbook paper. It'd be like tearing this out and putting it on you know, like this, right? And uh, so I ordered one of those binders from Zandra. It's a gorgeous binder. Yeah, see, it's, and and it's really hard to. It, when I looked at her video, her it's so much more turquoise, it's more so much more teal on her video than I saw in the photo. Oh, thank you, thank you, Karen. Ma uh, Karen, make sure and email me your address if you did not grab my email. Email me your address so I can send you an art card, okay? 
make sure and do that. So anyway, while I was flipping through the book, let me get my notes here. I've got a bunch of them. Let's flip back to my thumbnails here. I think I got about 10 pages of notes. Now, I don't want y'all to see everything because I want them to be a surprise when I go to do them. But I'll just flip through. I'll just flip through some of my thumbnails. These are each. These are different pages in the book. Uh, and so I wrote down some notes. So yeah, there's my thumbnails on what I want to do in in this book. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So I don't know what what I'm going to do today. If I do Easter Island, see, I know I have a note for Easter Island. And I usually don't make any notes. I just wing it. But when I was flipping, you know, when I was looking at each page, I thought, well, you know, I, what about, I think I want to do this. I want to do that. So I made some notes. Um, where's Masada? Where's Easter Island? I had something really good in mind. But I mean, I have like, you know, 25 or 30 of them, so. <laughs> uh Flipping, flipping, flipping. I know I have something specific in mind since I did go to the Easter Island. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, all right. There's some of my notes. All right, so we're going to go to Easter Island, I guess, because that's familiar to everybody. And so if I do something here, it's familiar. Um. Did everybody buy, um, grab my email for if you gave me super chat or something? Then I want to re repay you with a thank you card. Okay. So now I have no plans for any colors or anything like that. Uh, and I love that tree one too. I like so many of them. Ooh, it's a tough one. Tough one to pick. That first page, right? <laughs> but I think we'll go with the Easter Island. All right, so first thing I like to do is get rid of any borders and sides and text and everything. And again, you know, I'm not worried about keeping it because I have another one on coming. Please use all caps. Oh, yes, Pacola, please use all caps. Okay, so sometimes I start with painting everything out. Um, like I said, any borders or if there's four pictures, I start painting them in to combine them. Uh, and then sometimes I start with collage. Sometimes I'm just in the mood, not necessarily while I'm on the show, but sometimes I'm just in the mood to go through a bunch of collage bits and start gluing things down, right? Which I have a big stack here. Uh, so which way do I want to go today? Do I want to start with... Got to start with wax paper. <laughs> That's what we got to start with. So I don't glue the pages together like I've been known to do. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what we can do. And after I do this page, you know, depending on the time and all, I might just flip through. I might flip through the book and just, you know, start blacking out some things. And I say black out. It could be white. It could be any color. But get rid of any excess, you know, areas, text, or anything like that. So I will read what it says here just so that we um, have that. <laughs> okay. Easter Island, Pacific Ocean, Chile. Easter Island Civilization didn't completely collapse. But when Europeans first made contact in 1722, they were presented with a mystery. They found 887 imposing stone statues, almost all of which had been toppled, and a poor society that no longer had the means to erect such structures. What had happened? Settled by Polynesians sometime between 700 and 1000 CE, 
it is believed that Easter Island's population had peaked at about 15,000 people in the early 17th century before rapidly falling to below 3,000 as a result of environmental deterioration. By the 18th century, the once forested island no longer had any tall trees nor the soil in which to grow them. Lack of tree species meant no nesting sites for the island's bird species, which died out. Deforestation meant that no new canoes for fishing could be built, while so soil erosions led to poorer crops. Both animal and plant species also died out, it is suggested, due to the unintended introduction of the Polynesian rat. So, you know, and here's my thing on some of the, these, these theories. I, I think of them, I don't think of them as facts necessarily. Um, and I'm not going to get into all my historical beliefs, <laughs> but uh, there, a lot of things could have happened. A lot of things could have happened. This could have been, like I'm going to put it, underwater. This could have been, you know, there could have been a lot of different things. If these have been dug up. These are full on statues. There's, this is probably about maybe a fourth. I can't remember exactly, but this is maybe a fourth of the height of these statues. They're, they're underground. They're, they're, you know, so if the fact that they have these full on figures that are buried all that all so much, what did they like after the deforestation and they couldn't fish anymore? They went ahead and buried them. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of different theories about what happened to ancient civilizations. And I like, that's what I love to study. I love to study all different theories, ideas, you know? And so just, you know, I'm reading what's in the book, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything there. They pretty recently discovered they have. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, Shara, um, Sh uh, Shara, 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 um, that there's bodies. Like I said, this is maybe a third or a fourth of the whole statue under there. So now I don't know that if all 800 and however many, 887 are have full on statues, but you know. Okay. So I am going to turn this into another another world. So let's see what I want to do. I'll, I'll maybe I'll just you know sometimes I like to keep them simple so I can get I can make progress because <laughs> sometimes I don't make much progress on them. Um, let's go ahead. Maybe we'll go ahead and start with gluing first because I'm gonna white. I'm I'm gonna you know paint all this out. So I use golden matte medium. Hang on, let me get a brush and a. So I use golden matte medium to glue everything down for a couple reasons. Um, and I pour that into a, a dish soap bottle so that I can easily just pour some out like this. It's just so much easier to, to have this full of matte medium and use it out of here. I use old crusty paint brushes. These are the only brushes that I let set in water. And um, that's so that they don't, you know, harden because you let these dry and they're, they're toast. Um, so I keep these in water. But they're the only brushes I keep in water. Don't keep your brushes in water. These are crusty brushes. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to um, get out the excess water. I also use baby wipes to blend and play and wipe away. Now, one of the nice things about using golden matte medium, and I know it's not cheap, but, you know, it's, I, I just love it. There's nothing else, nothing else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my gross glue brush water. There's nothing else that works as well to me as a golden matte medium. They don't sponsor me or anything. I just love them. I always have for eight, what, how long we've been, eight years of streaming, I've used golden matte medium. Okay, so... Uh, the other benefit of putting the matte medium on is it does take away the shine, okay? Even though after I'm completely, completely done with the pages, I go back and gloss varnish. Um, but it takes the shine off. It makes my acrylic paints, and, the, and I just use, I just use uh, craft paint. This is just like dollar craft paint. 
I like Americana, but again, not sponsored. It's just my favorite. Uh, Americana, if you've ever seen a picture of my desk here, you see all the, the ends, all, you know, all of all my paint there. It's all Americana with the exception of maybe a couple of just craft paints that I picked up here or there. Um, so the other thing is with the uh, matte medium is it will, once you put it on and you dry and then you put craft paint on, you can wipe that craft paint off. It's like a barrier, right? And it's so that you can put craft paint on, take it off, put it on, blend it, mix it up, whatever. And um, yeah, it gives it a matte finish. I see Cindy. Oh, thanks, Jean. Thanks, y'all, for posting that. Don't forget, guys, please email me your address if you want an art card. Because I can't go, I mean, I try to, uh, you know, if somebody's PayPal me, sometimes there's an email address, and I've even clicked the link, the email that's been provided there, and I've got it, like, not a valid email. So don't, you know, just email me your address so I, I can for sure write it down, check it off when I send you an art card, and that way I, I assure that you got one. Okay, so I think, and some, I don't do a lot of fussy cutting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat my process. I always repeat my process as I'm doing it. Um, and that's because I'm do whatever I'm doing, I'm talking about. So uh, don't email me and say, you said that before. You said it on a different video, how you do that. Well, but you're, you know, other people are here. They might not have seen it. They may not, you know, know all the supplies and everything. So, yes, I do repeat. <laughs> and if someone comes in and asks me the name of the book, I'll repeat it again. <laughs> it's just it's the way we roll, people. It's a chat show. Um, and I love the element of time in all my uh, pieces. So uh, I have lots of watches and clocks and just tons of them, tons of watches. And uh, so do I want three different ones? Maybe I want a little one here. Maybe I want this one as a planet. This I like this little one here. Um, and uh, I just get images out of calendars, books, magazines, you know, whatever. And just uh, alter the make my own world because that's that's what we like to do here. Um, coupon at Michael's. I don't know, I missed something, Orla. And good morning, by the way. Okay, bye. Thanks for stopping. I think that was Cindy. It rolled off. Thanks for stopping in, Cindy. Thanks, everybody, for you know, if, and if you're a lurker, welcome. Thank you for lurking. All right, so I think I want that. And then, uh, let's see, I wouldn't mind, if I'm going to do C, I would like to have some fish, but I, don't, I didn't pull any fish, I don't think. I didn't pull any fish, but I do like this. I like that little bit of whatever. And it's just a, it's just a like serendipitous kind of thing. I pull things that, that um, I think I'm going to like. That looks watery. This looks watery. I think I'll go instead of this. I'll go with this watery. Um, so I just pull things that that speak to me at the moment. I can't really say, oh, use this, use that. It's, it's going to be kind of up to what you like and, you know, what you want to see in it or whatever. Okay, so this I'm going to have them underwater. So from here where the grass is, uh, that's all going to be underwater. Then I'll probably do stars up there and space and planets. So I'm going to go ahead and start just, and again, sometimes I black everything out. Sometimes I just start painting it, you know, gluing things down. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, so I just put matte medium down on the piece. On the back, I know it sounds so much like, oh, you don't need to put it on the back, too. You put it there. You don't need to put it on the back. You do. If you don't want wrinkles, you need to put it on the back. Then I put it on the top. <laughs> and then I take a card, <clears throat> take a card and scrape it down to get out any bubbles. Okay. Okay. It sold out again. The book is sold out again. <laughs> we keep selling it out, don't we? And uh, so a couple other things. If you tear your 
collage, if you tear it rather than fussy cut, even though I, I do like usually fussy cut out my watches and a few things. If you, um, if you tear your edges, it's much easier to uh, blend with the paint. Once you go to paint it in, it's much easier. And then there's sometimes like, see how that edge just matched up right there? That just, you know, those kind of things are what collage artists love. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure now that I've talked about all the process and got it crack a lack in here. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you know, I'll try to keep, because I'm sure I've missed some. So I'm just putting just some kind of ocean-esque type looking papers down. Oh, no, I want to glue this together. I want to keep that there. And then you can scrape off any excess too. And then just when it piles up there, just wipe it off on your, I just use coffee lids, you know, and baby wipes. Lots of baby wipes. You'll use lots of baby wipes when you go to start painting. Okay, so let's see. This one do I want? This down here, maybe. So I hope everybody's doing well. Are y'all working on projects, coloring, painting, drawing? I hope y'all working on something. This one has a little peacock in. I think I'll save that for something else. So a lot of this will be like painted in. So you won't even see a lot of it by the time we're done. Going to another adventure today. Oh, you are, Terry? Oh, make sure and take lots of pictures. I love your adventures, Terry. Love your adventures. If y'all missed Terry's flowers I showed on Monday, oh my gosh, I want to draw some of those, Terry. Jean's probably going to want to paint some of them. See how far back do I want that to go? And, you know, it's always a, I don't want to say it's a gamble, but it's always like you never know exactly how it's going to turn out. And that's part of the fun for me anyway. <laughs> that's part of the fun for me not knowing. Um, pictures, of course, and maybe a vid just for me. Oh, thank you, Terry. I know I love watching your, your dog. Too. <laughs> that was so funny. Dolly is for days. Yes, exactly, Julie. They are beautiful, Dee, but you know I have not had much success with flowers. Well, I know you're a you're a glass and um, you're a glass person, Jean. Jean Jean's very fragile. <laughs> uh, Jean does uh, Jean does awesome reflective glass work. So let's carry that over there. Maybe a little balance out the orange. Okay, it's a start. There's a start. All right. What else do I want? Do I want to do anything else before I start painting? Maybe I'll start painting now. I'm going to leave my watches and stuff in space and things in space. I want to at least get a coat of black on for before I start putting things in space. Do I want one of these as an arch? I love this. I should have cut it the other way. Let me see if I can do that. I want an arch back there. I think I might. I think I will. Let me just cut off a little of that excess. It's 
better to tear so it will blend. Torn edges just blend so much easier than... Let me turn that. You see, you can pick it up and stuff as long as it's still wet. And it is a little tricky to get this matte medium off your hands. Just saying. Um, I usually have to use my craft scrubby or fingernail polish remover. Because it is, it is some tough stuff. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Okay, so that's why I keep a baby wipe constantly cleaning my hands if I can. Hi, Connie. Connie, I'm, I'm working in your book. Thank you again for sending it to me. I told the girls of Connie I ordered another one. <laughs> so, you know, I got to have two. One that doesn't have anything in it. So thank you so much. So we're working in it today. I already did a flip through. <laughs> Thanks so much, Connie. All right. So that's a start for that. Do you want to start painting now? You like it, Diana? Okay, well, we're just getting crack a lack and I'm gonna have I got a bunch of marbles for planets. Um I have a stack here of, of stuff. I have my collage stack right next to me. All kinds of goodies that I pulled from that I pulled from my bin. Oops. I can move that. Ugh. Got too many stacks, too many stacks. So, yeah, here's some more marbles for planets. And I've told y'all before, you don't have to have marbles to make a planet. Like, you know, I love these swirls, but you can take, um, here. and you don't even have to have a punch, it's just easier with a punch. But you can just have a template. I showed y'all how to just take a round circle template. Um, wait, I want that separate. Um, where's one another? Okay, here. So you can just take a punch, and there's your. You have a planet, right? So we might use that one as one of our planets because it kind of coordinates. It might be reflective of the uh, ocean here. I think I want a bigger one though. Hang on, I got two sizes of punches. I want a bigger one. Say. Okay. All right. So, and we'll keep, we'll set this aside because I'm not going to glue it down yet till I start painting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a heat gun and get, um, oh, the lighting guy, so sorry. It's not horrible, but I can tell him. I don't want to get too dark, though, either. It's such a balance. It's such a balance between the color of the page and the, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and dry that. Just use my heat gun here. Yes, it's an old heat gun. <laughs> have a hundred percent dry and I just don't want the glue to blend in with the paint as much that much okay so now let's move my wax paper around a little here so that when I go to paint okay so I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the top with the stars and everything I'm gonna start with some black so let's get another oh, lid and um uh, some black paint and get me some baby wipes handy because I like to paint with my I like to finger paint yes this is let me show the book again it's abandoned civilizations Carrie and Connolly okay how's that look so, it looks true color but it you know might be a little dark ah whatever Okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, because this is just a nice square pl flat place, I'll just put that in with the brush. 
So let me wet a brush. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and paint the stars or the you know outer space up here. And you and remember, guys, you don't have to follow. You can paint. You can do whatever. It's your world. You know, if you want to paint stars all the way down or if you want to make it all underwater, you know, whatever. Make it. See, I can wipe that off. It's because of the matte medium. So, like, if I get it right here and I don't like it there, it, it will come completely off because of the matte medium. So... And usually I don't have much problem because these books are, you know, good quality. I don't have too much problem with them wrinkling or anything. But by the time you do the back side, the, the back pay, page, you know, you'll have that will take care of any other wrinkling. So by the time you it, and then you varnish them, they're flattened out all, all almost completely. And remember, I got wax paper here. So I'm not going to glue my pages together. Um. Alrighty, and then I put my arch right there. Okay, do I want that far out down? Do I want that? I think I want to go right to there. I'm gonna blend that in right there. And I do make a mess. I'm a messy, I'm a messy alterer. <laughs> it's a little bit of glare there. there and then after I do this one, I might go and just flip through the book and show you how I do different, how I really work when I'm by myself is I, I usually don't finish a whole page at one time. I'm working throughout the whole book. You know, I'm, I'm going from page to page, doing a little here, a little there. That's how when I'm just by myself, that's how I'm usually working. Okay, so do I want to... I'm just trying to think. I think I want this to come down. This looks better. I have a couple of mountains back there. And then this is too pointy. Let's get rid of some of that. And so many of these guys, you know, y'all saw me photograph it with chess pieces on, on it. It just, they remind me of chess pieces. A, ch a chess board needs to be in here, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you have to have a chess board. Okay, so let me go ahead and clean this brush out. So am I missing anything? Everything okay in the chat, guys? Hey, cat, button, dot. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Um, okay. Let's move the black paint a little out of the way. All okay? Thank you, Terry. All right, now I'm going to go in with some blues, oranges, and do the water. Then we'll go back and glue some more things down. Okay, blues. What color blues? Let me get another, get another tray here. Um, let's see. What color blues do I want? I'll tell you the names of them in a minute. Oh, a really dark one. That's great. What green? Oh. Purple. 
think I'll go with those two. Not so gray. And some orange. We'll go with these colors for now. All right, so we're going to go with these colors. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to put out, this is just true, yeah, primary blue. And again, I just like Americana paints, but it doesn't have to be. It's just craft paint. Americana, um, that was uh, primary blue. This is Blue Harbor. Blue Harbor is one of my favorite color craft paints. And then this is just bright orange. So we're going to start with these. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> We got it. Yeah. Hey, Joycey. Hey, Noodle. All right. So now I'm going to start blending in. All this is going to be water. Okay. All this. I might keep that this back here. I think I might keep this as a hill here. So let me just, uh, uh, well, I'll just paint. Okay. So, and I'm going to use my fingers. Now you can also use a palette knife. To make, and maybe I'll use this after I get the base color on because you can scrape cool scrapes with the palette knife. But let's go ahead and start by just getting rid of all this background, okay? And I will need a brush to get close up to their, uh, their sides. Let's see here. Oh, let's, let's get a better one. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So I'm going to start with picking up some paint and I'm just going to start, I'm going kind of back and forth between the two. And again, right, right here, if I want to get right up against him, you can do it two ways because there's matte medium. I could just go right up to the edge like this can go right up to the edge. And then where he is, I can just take a baby wipe and wipe it away. Or I can just take a brush and get right up around him. Okay, so either way. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the blues and do all my, get my water in here. I'm gonna have some water coming right over in there. Maybe a little orange from that right there. Go across there. Because I'm thinking about having some fish. I don't know yet what I want in here. Okay, so let's go back here around this little guy. And then, let's see, I did want to kind of keep that hill. I think I want to keep a hill to there. So I'll go back and paint that in as part of the background. Yeah, finger painting. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to finger paint. I like it. I like because I can, I don't know, I can just feel the blend. I feel the blend. <laughs> and once I get all the edges done here, then I can remove my wax paper. Okay. I should, probably should have taken a picture of this one before I started to post the both of them because I don't have the new book yet, <laughs> my second book, but that's all right. So just picking up multiple colors of blue. I don't want to be careful there not to glue the pages together because that can happen. And it did go dark on me again.
Okay, I'm kind of not looking at chat for a minute, guys, while I get this in here. Okay. Keep that here. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a brush to get in the ditch. It's always tricky in the ditch. Thanks everybody that stops in or comes and goes. Appreciate you being here. I'm not talking right now. I'm kind of in the zone. All right, so I got the base of the water done, or blocked in, I should say. Okay, it needs a little more. A little bit less edge right there. Okay. So we got to start. All right, now look, again, I, gotta, I go through the baby wipes. I can go through a half a pack of baby wipes on one thing. All right, so now... I think I want um, my hills. Let me clean my brush. Let's get a base coat in there with some orange. And orange is one of those colors that's kind of translucent. It might take two coats. But it, I don't mind some of those rocks kind of peeking through. But I will have to. I need some white because I'm going to have to get that couple of coats right there to get that blocked in. Um, well, let's just go with blue. Let's blue that in, then I'll go back over it with the orange. Okay. You still with the tour? Do you, do you see the honka nostrils on these? <laughs> they smell my coffee. Hey, Prisma, <laughs> girl. <laughs> You're so funny. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Prisma has a hilarious sense of humor. Okay, so we will um, change that those colors too, but I just want to get it blocked in. I want a um, a little bit of a hill back there. Like that. Okay, this needs to look like it's coming around. That way there. <laughs> Girl. All right, let me um. In the brush. Let me hit. Let me dry it so we can keep continue because some of this paint's thick. Bye, Janet. Janet's been peeling wallpaper. We doing her bathroom, I think. I mean, I don't know if that's what she's doing today, but
Okay, now I can take this wax paper away because I'm done with the edges pretty much. Pretty much done with the edges. Okay, and we'll readjust the light again. I'm, you know what? I think I'm going to zoom in one. Well, I don't know. Everybody likes to see the paint. Let's see. Try to keep it true color. I peel wallpaper border from 1984 to reveal more paper under that. Yeah. That's usually the way with wallpaper. It's been piled up. <laughs> Uh, it's been piled on. All right. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to work on the stars? Okay, there's a little bit more wet paint down here. Let me dry this little corner down here. Let me get some of that off there. Let's dry this corner. So you can just imagine your own world, whatever you want it to be. Okay. Next. I'm going to want to do my... Let's see what I want to do with my little bit. Do I want one? Okay, so I'm going to glue that there. The light facing that way because I'm going to have light coming out of here. So if the light's coming out of here, I want it to go through this planet. I might need to move it around. Do will you be adding a no? <laughs> oh, dot. Okay, let's see. I have to decide where I want my watch and how many. Do I just want one? Do I want it on him? Do I want it on him? Now, see, I would put it on him if he was anywhere else. But I'm going to want, well, I could put it on there and have the hands go this way. But I kind of, my idea was to have light coming out of here and busting through. I guess I could have light coming through have the hand coming through here and crossing over to that planet. I could do that. Let me see. I need a smaller. Think in a minute, guys. I'm thinking a smaller watch part. For these guys. Let's see. Do I have glue on there? Oh, I've got my glue and scissors. Okay, let's see. Hang on, guys. I gotta dig through my stuff here to find some more watch parts that I want. This one was a good one. I need a little one here for this guy. I got one, two little guys here. So let's. I don't know how entertaining this is, but, you know, <laughs> we're rolling with it. Hi, Susan. We're rolling with it. That's a little big. Put that down. See, each one in my world, each one of these represents another, another um, age, another time period. Each one's a different time period. All right, so where's my big one? Let's see, do I want this one on him? 
I think I like this one better. And that one can go in here. I'm trying to get the way that they're angled. This one looks like it needs to go there. Come in. Hey. Yeah, please. That'd be awesome. This is that mine just sat there and went cold. Okay. I can hear these Easter Island heads. It can be pretty <laughs> Prisma. I don't know where you get your sense of humor. You are a hoot. I'll tell you. You are a hoot. <laughs> I need it quite that big, but I kind of like it a little oversized just to have it different. Because I'm going to glows around them and everything. Let's, all right, let me just trim it a little bit. Sit and look at a second. Thank you, honey. Okay. Appreciate it. Mm, that's good. All right, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and start working in the stars now. See, right here, there's a piece of cut edge. Cut edges just don't blend as well. This has got, I'm going to peel that up. I want to peel some of that cut edge. There we go. Now I can paint it back in so that it's not a line. All right, so I'm going to do a couple different things. I'm going to work in the stars, but I'm also going to work down here in the water. Hey, Wendy. Anybody else? Jackie. Thanks, everybody, for popping in. All right. Oh. Do I want a reflective planet in here? Maybe. I think I do. And of course, I'll paint around them, you know, call a pencil, whatever. This is just getting it all based in. Well, I'm having fun anyway. <laughs> Just realized I haven't had coffee yet. Oh, Galena, how are you even awake? <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe let me get another tray with some white, and then I need a little bucket of stars. These are just the lids off my cranberry juice. Um, Where's my white paint? Okay. So one, I need I need one that's that's just reg, thick, thick, no water to it. Then I need a little bucket to make stars, which is I add water to that to keep them separate. So I'm gonna water down in there. Let me get a one of these calligraphy brushes that are real floppy, real floppy and soft. And let's see if I got enough water in there. Okay, so let me move this out of the way a minute. Tap, tap, tap. And if they go anywhere I don't want them, I can just wipe it away because of the matte medium and the. Okay. Although there will be foamy start, I mean foamy, foamy down here in the water. But for right now, I'm going to get rid of all the water. I mean, all the stars everywhere except in the sky. Okay. I've already 
mop floors, scrub bathrooms, and made beds without coffee. Girl, you're brave. <laughs> All right, let me dry this. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Karen Bot. And they do take a little bit longer to dry. Gotta keep it moving though. You don't want to make a bubble. Because you can make the paper bubble up if you don't keep your heat gun moving. Because this is hot, it's not like a hair dryer. All right, let's let that sit for a minute. And now I'll go to clean that brush out. Let's go to um, let's go to the non-watered down paint and my um, palette knife, and let's do a little bit of wave action. <laughs> They're whatever you want them to be. <laughs> They're whatever you want them to be. See, that's the thing. You, I'm making this world, but you can use your imagination. And what do you see in it? You know, what do you see? So you can scrape in some cool effects with a palette knife. If it gets too much <clears throat> or too thick or somewhere you don't want it, you just take your baby wipe and play with, manipulate it around. So, and it's always tricky in the ditch in there to make it look flowy across. And this is just how I'm making my worlds. You can do whatever you want in yours, you know, whether it's an abandoned places book or whatever. Okay, it's a little too perfect. There we go. I'll probably have something breaking through this as a planet, maybe. Let's see. Coming out the other side. Like a planet, a planet hit, something hitting that planet there. Just like I'll probably do light coming through here. I'll probably have these watch hands coming through. I'm not sure. That's going to be too much of a line. So I'll probably have to do one this way, one that way. Got to get it, the angles right. Hmm. Have to think about that one. I'm gonna have them splash up right along them too. Too much. This is when I, I'm talking to myself. When I'm going shush, 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 I'm talking to me, not you. I'm not telling y'all to shush. But it's a little tricky in the ditch. The head needs some nose rings. <laughs> In your world, Prisma. <laughs> your world.
Welcome back, Eileen. Good coffee. Might put some more in here with the Posca paint pen. We'll see. All right, there's a start. <clears throat> Still with the Tory figured nose rings would be better than. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to put that either, Prisma. <laughs> so, is anybody, whether it's an abandoned book, has anybody done any kind of altering of books like this before? All right, I'm going to go ahead and dry this, guys, so I can start uh, adding more. Enjoying the process, thanks. Is it by or B or six? <laughs> it's either V by or six. And in places, General uh, uh, Jamie. Oh, I know a lot of people like this. What, this is some of the people's favorite things to do. Jackie is loving the altered books process. Thanks, guys. It's 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 vi, like do you say vi or vi, or is that a six? <laughs> okay, now I want to. What do I do? I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of splashing. So I'm going to just take a little here. Okay, this is where I got to have a clean baby wipe and at the ready. Because this is where I'm going to start to. Oops, wrong thing. My white here. Mash it in. Mashing it into the baby wipe. So it's more like a mist. Like like splashy. I'm getting a little ditch there. I want it very subtle. So I can always go back in there with a Posca for individual little sprays. You have, but not since you are a teenager. I have books by, oh, missed something I think Eileen said. I bought another book to alter. I have it shared any pages online now. faithful share girl share <laughs> i found wonderful album with nature to alter but can't make myself start yeah you can't be afraid because you're going to mess it up you will everything is not going to come out exact like every one of these little waves i'm doing is not exactly what's in my head it's not it's not perfect you know otherwise you could do it in digital you know do it in digi eileen could probably alter this a zillion ways to Sunday in Digi. It's not going to be, it's not going to be perfect. But if you wait for it to do something perfect, you won't start. You can't not do that. See, I'm almost wanting the water to go up their nose. <laughs> I'm almost wanting the water to like, like they're breathing water. Yeah, and like you can, yeah, you can get some good books at the dollar, you know, Dollar Tree, or Dollar whatever. You know, 
I'm thinking I want them to breathe the water. Let's see if that works out. What do y'all think? Or does that look almost like no? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want them breathing water. I kind of think it's cool. And these guys, you don't really see them back there very much. Because I can make it that the... Let me get a brush. What I can do is I can make the... the go this way and then come out of the top where the watch hands are coming out. You know, oh, I got to black those out because I don't necessarily want where the watch hands are pointing. Let me get another brush. And some more my black. Did I get any black paint out? I guess I didn't get any black. Yeah, I did. Where is it? Here it is. So what I'm going to do is black out these hands real quick because I want to put them where I want to put them, not where they are. Okay. So let me just put block those out. And then the, the like the light and the watch hands come out the top. But I don't want it to look like I don't want any any indication because this is not in my head at all that they're any kind of drugs. <laughs> you know, I don't want that to be um, a thing. You know, I mean, somebody could imagine that. I guess I can imagine anything, but that's not my that's not what I want to portray. And that may be taken that way. Yeah, I don't know. I like the idea, but um, I don't know. I'll leave that for now. All right, let me go back to my white. I'll think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure if I like that. So I want some ways to overlap the other ones, but you gotta let this dry. You gotta do it in stages. So this one's dry, and then you can put another layer on top. Okay. Oh wait, this is my planet over here. I forgot. I'm gonna have that be something more precise. <laughs> oh, let's see. I really just want the main, some main waves right in here. Not every, you know, I don't want the whole thing all splashy. <laughs> Give them a snorkeling mask. My, all right, here's what I'm thinking though. See, I'm thinking that they're in different, they, each one has, represents a different time. Okay, each one is a different time period. I don't want a snorkeling mask. <laughs> <laughs> girls crack me up I swear <laughs> all right let's go where's my orange oh my goodness I'm a little bit more bright in some spots And after I do this, like I said, then I'm going to go through the book and how I normally without, you know, without being on stream, I go through the book and um, get some white on that orange. I go through the book and just do little bits here and there. Okay, so I'm going to want a light highlight on this hill because this hill is going to have light coming out of it. I'm going to put some... Uh, like some splashes and some like planet reflections down in here. So there won't be like bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. It's too perfect. A little more. There we go. It's 
So it's always tricky in the ditch. Sunglasses in California. <laughs> Inner tubes. Uh, that would be cute, guys. I mean, you can make these very funny, right? You can put them with inner tubes and sunglasses and all that, and there's and that's fine. That if that's your if that's your vibe, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, hang on. <laughs> All right, so I am wanting to get this right here. Very, I think I might should do that with a Posca, so I can get a. Need a little blue back. And you can take a long time. When I'm doing this by myself, I could spend hours on a page. You know, I could spend hours with little details and little this and little that. But, you know, <laughs> no Prisma. Oh, my gosh, you girls. You crack me up. <laughs> All right. So now what I want to do is take a little bit of swirls. I don't know what they can do with this big brush, but we'll see. Awesome. Then we're going to go back up in the space. Just a few little... Too obvious. I need to <laughs> but now I do like that. That would be cute. A rubber ducky. <laughs> that might be that might be cute, Zeely, but I'm not going to. I mean, y'all have some great ideas and humor. See, I don't, I'm not, my worlds, I guess my worlds aren't that funny. <laughs> my worlds. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want that to come around him and maybe back around there. <laughs> like it's coming around him, you know. Like this one here, too. <laughs> Needs a cigar. <laughs> I mean, seriously, guys, you guys could really make this hilarious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then maybe I want just a little something, something I'm going back here. Just a little, that's too much. Just one little bit. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Let me get my little brush and let's do a little, little splash down here. We'll kind of, let me get something to kind of control where it goes. There's a little more water it's starting to dry in, dry up all right 
right now. Let me wipe some of it away. His face right there. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, I can add pencil and other things and other details. I can shadow in some of this. I need it to be a little not so bright here. And I can make some of these things kind of creep out there. Don't know if I need to. Could. A little black. Where's my black? Too much. It's getting dried out. Add a little tiny bit of water because it's starting to dry. My paint's starting to dry out here. It's better than cable. <laughs> well, I love hanging out with you guys and just working. And hopefully y'all are doing some projects yourself. You know? So Zandro would have me put in a mermaid. You know, there'd be mermaids in here and all kinds of things. I don't know. I some just think that less, I mean, it might look like a lot, but I think of less as more as far as too much. And then that way you feel, your mind fills in the details, you know? Makes, makes it uh, your world. It's a little too much. A cup of white paint on the top. Is that a cup of white paint? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry. It's my bucket of stars. Yes, it's my bucket of stars, Connie. All right, let me dry this and think a second now. I go up and work on the space for a minute. Okay cruise ships will be exploiting these poor, poor statues. <laughs> Sharon. Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. I haven't done the watch hands or nothing yet, people. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Let me clean my, clean my paintbrush here. Acrylic paint dries pretty fast in the brushes. All right, let me throw all these baby wipes away and get me some fresh ones. Okay, let's see. let's start with get a Posca here somewhere. Move the scissors. Done with that and this water. Making some space. My table is like a, a mess. All right, let's see here. 
turning out cool? Thank you. You gonna try it? You got to. And again, if y'all missed, um, this is Abandoned Civilizations, Carrie and Connolly's new book. Um, Connie sent me this one and I ordered another one. So I'm gonna have one to work play in and one that's not uh, touched. <laughs> uh, our Posca brands pens. Been, um, they're acrylic paint and a pen, you know. Uh, I like them because they have good points. You could also use um, Sharpie, the Sharpie paint. What are they called? Uh, it's, it's, it's like a water-based. Water-based, yeah. Anyway, the Sharpie, you can get those at Michael's. These I, I don't see anywhere but art stores or online, Posca's. It's already sold out and be back in stock September 1st. Okay, so if y'all want one of these, y'all go, go grab one on September 1st. All right, so like I said, I, I wanted this. Now I'm going to have to turn it so I can draw a straight line. I'm wanting this to go in here. I don't think I want it coming out the other side because that's what's going to happen on the planet. So there's this watch hand, and I'll thicken it up and everything. I just want to get the, I just want to get it going in the right directions here, and put shadows and everything on it. Okay. And I think I want this one to come behind him. Oh, I got that crooked. Hang on. I need to turn it. Let's see. Which way go? Let's get in the little ditch there. And really, I should use a ruler so I get the right direction. Even if I don't actually go on the ruler, <laughs> I need to. I need to go that way. Mine's a little bit. Okay, I like that direction. And it's going to go. In there and out the back here. So I'm not gonna put I might put this one, I might have this one just have a little bit of a I don't want that angle though, it's not black pencil. Mm. That's the other thing. See, now because it's all got matte medium over it and acrylic paint. Hi, Susan. I can use a color pencil in here. I just kind of want to indicate that each one, you know, but I really don't want anything on top of him. I'm thinking I'm going to put a, a glow around him. So let me get up. Let me dry this. so I'm not running my hand and smearing that. All right. Let me get a, uh, let me get my pencils here. My white, where'd it go? Let's get another one, another black, a white, an orange, a blue. My favorite space colors. And see, I'm still thinking I might want something growing out here. <laughs> Thanks for infinitely expanding your art supply. Yeah. Well, you know, if you really think about it, though, guys, other the most expensive thing I use is my golden matte medium. Golden matte medium. This is what I use for glue and like a, you know, to cover everything so that I can work on top of it. But everything else I'm using Prismacolor pencils are not that expensive. A, a, my acrylic paint is just craft paint. Right. Okay, so I am wanting to, let me sharpen. Let's get my watch part out of my pen. There I go. Okay. <laughs> my little sharpening bowl. 
Well, the books too. Although the I think the matte medium is probably about the same as the book. You know. <clears throat> yes, it's Easter Island. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do a weird tangent here, but I want to go this way on this side. Okay, I need my Posca. A little bit more white in there. Okay, what do I want? Which way do I want to go with this? Do I want to go and see now I'm working over torn paper there. And that's where I'm I say it's best to have I mean cut paper. It's best to have torn paper because otherwise it's a little tricky to get over the okay. I want that a little less. I want that less. I'm gonna go back into black and get rid of that. Space wind blowback. Ooh, I like that description, Terry. Space wind blowback. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> All right, now. Space wind blowback. All right, let's see where I want to go with this. <clears throat> I, need, <coughs> I need a sip of coffee. Okay. <laughs> you, you look with pencil. That looks amazing. I do that pencil. It looks like someone like <laughs> Connie. It take it does take some practice. And of course, <clears throat> you know, I've been using color pencils for, you know, I don't know how long. <laughs> A long time. Way back, you know, when Prisma colors were barrel. I don't go quite as far back as there was another one before barrel. I think I go back only as far back as barrel. <clears throat> I'm going to put some more little planets and other things in here too.
Connie. Okay, so I am going to put a couple there. You can go in with your Posca and make more specific details. How much of it is an original page? Hey, Miro. The hills have been painted over, but the hills was there. And the, the heads. Everything else is. And I should have took a picture. I should have taken a picture of it, guys. I have the second book coming. Another, another copy of the book coming. So when the other copy comes, I'll show you the comparison. But here's the thing, and I said this earlier, when I'm working on these pages, I'm usually not finishing from start to finish a page all at once. And so I can't really take pictures because I'm going from picture to picture to picture, you know? And so... But I should have taken one today because of the fact that um, I did a completed page. Can you screenshot from the video? Oh, you mean, um, yeah, I might have. Um, I could probably take a picture of, yeah, I can screenshot where I showed the picture before I started. That's a good idea. I'll just grab a screenie. Grab a screeny. Hi, CB. Yeah, I'll just grab a screeny. No, I don't want that lit up right there. Getting there. I need this more lit up right here. There we go. That's better. Or is the uh, these tongues? Like, no, Prisma. I'm not putting the cigars now. I'm not sticking their tongue out. I'm not putting putting noodles, pool noodles around them. But it is funny. I it is funny. I got it. Yeah, it is. If I was doing these humorous, I would. I would. But there, my worlds aren't like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're representing different time periods. <laughs> I need a dark blue. <laughs> no, I need my indigo. No inner tubes, no. <laughs> uh, okay, Chris, yeah. Well, I think, I think, guys, I'm going to add a little bit more on these waves here. Some, like, individual little, a few little extras. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, I think, call this one. Because I don't know. I still think and I want something growing out of here. Like some kind of coral or something. But I have to think about that. I don't want to put it on there just because I'm on the show and not really thinking about it much, you know. So throw a Spanish conquistador on a floaty. <laughs> you girls make it so fun, I swear. You just make it so fun. <laughs> a Spanish conquistador on a floaty. I love it. <laughs> you guys need to get yourself a copy of this book and do just that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're, I wanted this one right over here. I wanted this to be a, like a planet thing going on here. Maybe a star shine. I'll give it a star shine. A little crooked. Wait a minute. Where's my baby? Why <laughs> my star shine? It's crooked. I gotta dry it now. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I need a little better, um, I need a little more, I think I need a different brush. Let's get a different brush. Needs a little bit of water, maybe this is too watery. And something between the two. Just a little bit of water to this one because it's drying out. <clears throat> then I'm going to go and I'm going to go through the book and just do little things here and there. Okay? That's how I normally work. I don't regularly, except here on when we're doing a show, start to finish a page. I like to work a little on one, a little on another. And I go back and forth between them, you know. Now, do I need any mist? Maybe I need a little bit more mist. We'll do that. Okay, so let me, and then we'll end this. Okay, let me get my baby wipe. All right, let me get a baby wipe here and my paint. I mash it into the baby wipe so that I can get some mist. Okay, so let's do that. 
so it's a little bit misty. Just a little bit here, like coming off the edges here. Not too much, just a little. Sing Missy. <laughs> oh, my goodness, girls. All right. I think I'm going to leave it. I'll probably come back in and tweak a few things, but I'm going to leave it for now. See, it's hard to get in that ditch there, make that look right. But to get in there with a, paint, a paintbrush. So I'm liking it. Oh, thanks, Katrina. All right. Let me hit it with a heat gun. Wait, I've got one more thing to do. This needs to be a little brighter here. Lost a little bit of something going on there. Same for this. This needs a little bit more. And then one other thing, get my black. I, I want to darken their eyes just a little. Maybe I should do that and maybe the nostril. I want to really have, I want their eyes to show up. Like these back here, you really can't hardly really see their eyes. I just want to make sure that you can kind of see the depth in their eyes. Just make a little bit of difference. You know? You know what I mean, Vern? Okay. So there we go. I'm going to call this one done for now. I, want, I really would like to get in here with a little bit more dark... Um, I can't find my indigo, my indigo pencil. Ah, oh, here it is. I put blue tape around the indigo to distinguish it between the black, but it needs a little, needs a little bit more shadows in these wave crest things. Just a little bit more shadow in there. I kind of lost a little bit of it when I put the mist like the crest of the wave coming up there underneath ah. all right so now let's see what we can do about some other pages thanks guys I'll take a picture I'll put it on a uh, I'll put it on a uh, Twitter probably Instagram. I wish I should, I'd take it. And like I said, I'll try to find a screeny uh, at the beginning of the show before I um, started working on it. 
I should have taken a picture, but I didn't. But I will have the uh, other book is coming in. It's supposed to be in a couple of days. So, um, hey Jay, thank you. All right, so now let's let's go back through the book and let's just see if we can make sure everything's dry. Uh, let's go back through and see if we can uh, just work on some little bits here and there. See now I want to I want to fiddle again. So I want to get back in here and fiddle. <laughs> did you? Yes, I did flip through it faithful at the beginning. Yes, I did. I did flip through it. I'm going to do it again now because I'm going to let's see where I can get rid of that bright there because I want to find some. I'm just going to stop wherever I feel like it and work on it. But now let me adjust the light again. Now that we're back to flipping need more light so and again i did take notes i'm not going to look at them right this minute but i did make some thumbnails of some ideas of the pages that i, I want to work on right but i'm just going to kind of wing it right now <laughs> i'm just going to kind of go through see what i want to want to do picture out of the other yeah i haven't got the other book though yet well i'm gonna i'm gonna tweet the picture today the one i finished but i don't have the other book yet to take the picture but unless i find unless i can get a good screenshot if i can get a good screenshot to post with it okay i'll try hey g these fairies was a mess type please ignore it <laughs> Okay, so I don't know yet what I want to do. Like, this is going to be a nice little space thing. Okay, for instance, and I got, if I'm not going to put my wax paper up on the edges, I'm going to have to be careful because I've, I can't tell you how many pages I've glued together. Let's move this. All right, so for instance, how I would start this. So I'm just going to show you how it starts some of these because... Um, when you go to the edge with the, <laughs> the paint, it's easy to, um, let me move my matte medium, move my pencil, move this card, move my Posca. Where's my black paint? Here it is. Here's this brush is too big. Let's see here. Let's get a smaller, smaller brush. All right. So I am just going to play on a few pages. We'll see. What time is it? I think we've only been here a couple hours. We're good. All right. So for instance, all right, this is the Wadi Mathendu Fizen Libya. I know I'm not pronouncing that. <laughs> but again, I will, I'm not going to finish these pages. I am just going to start um, start them. Because I know I'm going to do black around him, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the, get rid of the white. This is why you have to get two books. Say, that's why I'm getting another one. <laughs> uh, this is why I'm going to be getting another one. So, like, I am going to paint everything out but him. Oh, he does his tusk is going a little off the. In the rocks there, so so I'm just going to do a few here and there. And just maybe talk about what I'm thinking about doing. Do y'all have any questions on the collage or the mixed media or, you know, y'all, I, do I explain it well enough that you probably don't have any questions <laughs> at all? Cause I've, I expl over explain. Why don't you use golden matte medium on this page? Cause I'm not gluing anything yet. Sometimes. And I said that earlier, you may not be in here. Um, sometimes I start with the painting. Sometimes I start with the gluing. In this case, I'm just going to go through and, and do some painting. I'm not going to do any gluing right now unless something really strikes me. I'm just going to do some painting right now. 
And sometimes I'll go through the book and I'll want to just paint a bunch of stuff out. Sometimes I'll go through the book and want to just do all gluing. Sometimes I'll just have me a big, I'll just have me a big stack of collage stuff and just go through and do gluing. It just depends. I don't really, it's not really a formula. You know, I try to tell you if you want to do stuff on top, if you want to wipe away, if you want to wipe away uh, paint, or if you want to put color pencil, then you have to have either matte medium or pencil on top. Pencil on top of the black acrylic. You, know, you girls have, see, you say, I don't have an imagination. Not you, Prisma. But some are going to say, you know, and y'all are being so funny and so clever. You do too. You know? So I'm not sure what that is down there. Is that is, is that just a little, maybe, maybe I'll make that a little person down there. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave that little image that's down there don't know if he's stepping on somebody that's kind of what it looks like So I'm just going to go through and just start working in the book so you can't be afraid. It's that first page you think, oh no, I'm going to mess it up. This is why I have the wax paper, so I can go right to the edge. I don't know. Maybe that needs to come all the way down. Maybe that makes his leg look a little funny. Yeah. And he doesn't really have a tail. It looks all kind of chopped up there, but I'm going to give him a tail. Make sure he has one. What would be kind of cool on this one would be to do um, different star uh, systems, you know, but like the uh, the man, you know, what man's version of the stars, you know, the different star systems so that you can actually like see the animals, you know, in, in the stars. Miss Ella Hunt, thank you for her being on the <laughs> Be glad I gave her a tail. <laughs> so after I do this, I'm going to go on to another page. And I'm just going to start blocking out or whatever I want to do to it. You're the boss of your book. <laughs> All right, taking out the papers. Let's dry it.
yeah, you can glue whatever you want in the book. I got piles of collage stuff over here. Now make sure you want to make sure before you go on to another page because I've done I've done tons of pages in one sitting, and sometimes you might leave a little bit of paint. You're going to glue the, that area together. You don't want to glue your pages together. No, nope, not a fearing. It's just fun. Okay, so let's just keep going here. What else do I want to do? Do I just want to do... All right, now this is one that I am going to put... This is going to be underwater. Okay, but like it's going to be like see-through water. Like clear... Like see-through water. Like clear water. <laughs> cleaning my brushes here my water is dirty so it's hard to get my brushes clean but I'm going to want to do this maybe I'll just put a little bit of an example here I'm going to white let me pick up some of that white over here I'm going to want to put this as like water <clears throat> like it's really underwater but you're going to see through it so this is going to be water down here too but you're going to see you know it's like seeing underwater right you know what i mean the water's clear Get my baby white. Need mm -hmm. more white. So it'll be very misty. So you can still see it. But it's all going to be hazy, like it's underwater. See, now I'm going, I should, see, this is what happened. See, I didn't put a, the, uh, what do you call it, wax paper there. Yeah, I got to do that. I really should. Can you kind of see where I'm going with it? <laughs> All right, let me dry this. Sammy, that mashes that mashes it into the baby wipe. I do that with my liner brushes too. I can I can feel the thickness of the paint in my hand when I do uh, thin lines. See, I got a lot of built-up paint in there. I got to be careful because you'll stick your pages together. All right, let's keep slipping. Let's keep slipping and going. Just whatever you know, Mike. And see, these I want to do. Uh, I'm going to want to do, those are, I've got such a mess here. I need to show y'all this, this mess, this hot mess. All right, where's my other brush? Did I leave it in, no, I didn't leave it in the water. Because I got so much little collage papers everywhere. Let me move those out of the way. I'm not gluing anything down right now. So let's move all the papers. Watch parts. Separate the paint. From the collage and find my brush. Where's the brush? Where's my thin brush? Well, let's just do another one. Let's get another one. So on this, what I'm thinking is these guys. Now I'll, I'm going to paint this out black. Maybe I should go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Where's my wax paper? Thank you. 
because I already have, I, I can imagine what these guys are doing here. Well, let's get this bigger brush and let's paint this out. Because, you know, this is going to be space up here. But what I want for the little statues here, more black paint. And I don't remember what I did on my thumbnail for this one. I think I have a thumbnail for this one. But I just thought, I'm going to cover up those rocks right there. And see, this is why, you know, I need a second book because, see, I've already altered this and I, and I should have taken a picture. <laughs> but this is how I work in these books. I don't, I just go from page to page and whatever. And I'll work on this one for a while. Then I'll go to another page and I'll come back. Okay, so. Um, all right, so I'm not going to work in the space right now. But what I know, but I wanted to put that in because what he's going to be doing. Hang on. Dry. <laughs> And sometimes you just tack something down, like with a glue stick. If you're just going through and doing a bunch of stuff and you know something, you want something somewhere and you don't want to get out the matte medium and all that, then that's when I'll just get a um, glue stick. Let me see if I can find my plan. Okay, let's go with this one. I'm going to go with this blue one, but I'm going to go with it. Let me trim this off. So what my plan for this one is... And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tack it down with a glue stick because I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna be, so I can remove it. But this is gonna be up here. Do I want it this way? I think I want it this way. And what I'm gonna do is he is going to have and I'll fix that up and everything. What's my ruler? I'm just gonna straight visual. Not to use the ruler, but to have a visual above it or something. And he's going to, let's start with the Posca. It's always easier with the Posca. Where's the Posca? That's such a straight line, though. But that's the level. I guess I could move the world down a little. I could move this down a little. I don't really want this going straight across. So he's going to have sometimes when you use your poscas on top of acrylic paint, you can get the tips coated. And then this will come out the other side. Now where's my lid? All right, now let's go back to the paint. So this is going to be, it's going to be like a glow. It's not going to be a harsh line. It's going to be, you know, soft and um, like a light beam. So I just wanted a Posca line there so I could follow it. <clears throat> and if any place that I get, like especially in the crevice here, I'll go back in there with my black, either black paint or black pencil and sharpen that up because it's really tricky to get in the ditch there. Okay, so what I plan on doing is just have this come here, stop there. And come out the back. See something like this. That's the idea. <laughs> that's where I'm going with it. All right. So that's enough for now on that one. Okay.
Then you take your chain on. And that's kind of thick right there. So I gotta make sure it's dry or you'll glue your pages together. Let's make sure. Okay. So, you know, moving on. Move the wax paper. So yeah, see I've got I, I don't I've got all kinds of ideas. These are my thumbnails for different pages. So I'm not really looking at them right now. I probably should. With all the trouble to think about them, I should probably use them. See where I got black paint, but that'll all be covered up. Um, oh, I did have a good idea on this one. Well, wait, let me see. This would have been close to the front because I'm still close to the front. So this is probably page one or two. Um, is this the one I thought about doing? Oh, wow. Okay. Little spotlights down here. <laughs> this is one that I want to do. Um, I want to do a checkerboard. And I want to turn these into chess pieces. So, like, on top of each one, like, maybe a lion's head. Or, you know, I don't know, just different, different. I want it to look like a chess pieces and this to be a checkerboard. So, like, where's my ruler? Let's see, maybe I could do this in black. Let's see, all these poscas to get flowing. Okay, so, like, You probably won't be able to see that. If I go right off the page. Okay. It's not exact for the perspective of the photograph but I'm gonna make it my own because it's gonna be all painted over, so it doesn't matter. The rocks are all crunchy in different levels. Hey. I'm <laughs> such a card. All right. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> um, let's see. all right, so let's see. Just a minute. I'm trying not to smear you. I should have used my metal ruler with the cork under it. But okay, I think that's gonna be do I want one more? No, I think I want just that many. All right, and you probably can't see what I'm going to do here. Oh, let me get my other one. Let's just go with this. Right, start down here about one inch. This is how I would be working if you guys weren't here. Can't be a fearin'. Don't be a fearin'. Uh, did you not close the door? See, I've got paint on the back. That's why you need a cork ruler. But you can't see through a cork ruler. What's that? 
which I'm going to paint over this anyway, so it's not really going to matter. Okay, so I think I can do the rest of the lines by myself. Right there. Right there. So what my plan is, is to turn this into a giant chess board. Uh, do you, I will help you. I think we're good. I think we're good, Sharon. I think I usually have a yellow brick road. That would be good too, Prisma. Yellow brick road. Are we run? Are we low on mods or something? I think we're okay, aren't we, guys? I'm just going to use my black Posca to start it anyway. Just so you can kind of see where we're going. I'm going to do the whole thing. That one's too thick. You know. Meh. Meh. I'm going to get my... So I'll turn this into a giant checkerboard, or a chess set, chess board, I should say. We're going to move on to the next page in a minute. But if you work in the whole book, like back and forth, front to back, which is good to protect the spine, too. If you do that, it's just, to me, it's more fun. It's, it's less pressure on finishing pages. But I know some people can't do that. They can't um, leave a page unfinished and go to another one. But I can. And work on multiple pages at once. Because it's just fun that way. Hey, Karen. I'm sure I'm missing people coming and going. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you all are all working on something. Happy hump day. I'm excited to work in my new abandoned civilizations. Now it's hard to stop. <laughs> I get into a little section here. Oh wait, that was supposed to be wait. That one's black. Oh, that one's gotta be white. Wait a minute. I got I went off I went off on the tangent here. It's gonna be the other color there. Okay, so this one down here. It's hard in the cracks. See, I had that right in the in the middle. Okay. So then this one, I should. This is what you should do when you do a checkerboard. You go like X, 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 X. So you can get make sure you get all the the right ones done right. Let me do one or two more. And then I'll probably do a cream color or off-white for the for the other color. I should just do that with paint. Paintbrush, I mean. Just don't glue the pages together. See a little mist right there. Let's paint it with the other color. It's hard to get in the ditch. But I guess you get the idea, right? <laughs> Chat in a minute. 
I'm ready to get into Lost City. <laughs> yeah. I like all of them. So I've got all three of his abandoned, abandoned places, abandoned castles, and this is abandoned civilizations. I don't want to rush this. I should just go to the next page so I'm not in a hurry. But I try to show as much, many different ideas as I can on these sh on these uh, abandoned episodes. It might be cool just to leave. I might just leave the rocks. That one looks kind of marbleized. And then maybe put marbleized um, marble lines in the black. I think that's what I'll do. We'll make it a marble. There's some little areas I'm going to have to paint in with the, a, a brown or a cream, though. So. You got pictures to show me? No. What? I'm going to get some chicken. Okay. Are you going to get some chicken? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. No, get Publix chicken. I don't want Kentucky Fried Chicken. Get Publix. <laughs> Are you falling asleep, Carrie? Karen Bot? <laughs> Is it relaxing? Is it putting you to sleep? All right. So you get the idea. Now I got more over on this side, but right in the little groove there, it looks a little crooked, but it's not. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to stop. Let's dry this. <laughs> Bye, Terry. Have a great day. Like this one, Eileen? Yeah, well, I'll, I don't want to keep fussing with it right now. I want to keep moving. But like this, obviously, this is going to be a, a, a star gate right here. Um, bigger brush, smaller brush, another brush. There's another brush. I don't know if y'all like seeing half, you know, working on just different pages or not, but. <laughs> but this is how I'd be working on this. I'd just completely black this out. And then probably extend these trees. Like I'll black this out, then take a white or cream color and you know make these make these branches come over to this. You know what I mean, Vern? Like this one will come up here like this. This will probably branch out here. After it's painted. Do you have lost cities? No, I don't have lost cities, Suze. Is it by Carrie and Connolly? Does he have, is that his? Then I'll for sure have to get it. If it's his. This needs little waterfalls. This one needs lots of, um, and I don't want to do it right now because I'll be into another page. But it needs, um, like, do I have any watches cut? Here, let's try this one. 
Right, hang on. Who's it by, Suze? Waiting to see. I'll just tack it down. All right. Now, if y'all want, I'll show you some of the ideas I have on my thumbnails. But my um. What I'm thinking here is each one of these blocks will have a block of, and I don't know if I want a full one or if I'm just going to want a half one, you know? I'm thinking I might want to cut them at an angle. I'm just going to stick them down for now, but we're going to have all kinds of uh, blocks of time. <laughs> blocks of time! Have blocks of time going through here. So I'm just going to tack them down for a minute just so I know that that's where I'm going with it. No, it's book two of Abandoned Places series, Julian Beercroft. Okay, now I don't have that one. So anyway, we'll have watches in here, kind of like going with this vibe. Here. Go back to Abandoned Castles for a minute to show you this one. This is the one I'm kind of have in my head and I did do a little bit of a flip through this one too earlier where's the one is it toward it's toward the back I think let's see where is it the one with all the watches the one I said was kind of um it's toward the back what do you call it no it might be it no it's in this one I think or is it in castles is it in castles? Maybe it's in castles. I thought it was in this one. Hang on. This one. See how it has all the watches on the levels? See all the watches on the different levels? That's what I'm kind of thinking on this one. Okay, and see, I just tacked it down with a uh, with a glue stick so I can pull it right back off. This like water, water and light coming out. Like, all right, here. Let me see. Let me try to get my pages in order here. Let's see. One, two, three. And so they go backwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, like nine pages. Okay. So, all right. I'm going to, well, let's just try to catch up to this one. What was this one? Look. Page two. You know, guys, I'm trying to find, get my things in order. I don't know. This might be too confusing to try to figure out on the show. <clears throat> Let me just flip and see if I find one that I recognize because my pages are out of order. Okay, I remember I have this one as flames. So let's see where I left off with this one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so on this one, there's going to be, um, this will be outer space up here. And there's going to be flames in here. See how it's yellow already? So that just reminded me of flames. Okay, then this one, let's see, the next one that I have is this one. This one is going to have... Uh, and I'll just paint a little in there. Where's my brush? I keep losing all my brushes. They <laughs> just like walk away. Where are they? Oh my gosh, that brush is totally gone. All right, let's get another one. <laughs> uh, 
And this one I'm thinking, maybe I could just do it with my finger painting. This one I'm thinking needs to have mist coming through. Each one of these. This is going to have mist. This will be black, so it'll be it'll be more dramatic because of the, the black, paint, you know, stars up here. But it's going to be like this. Okay. See where I'm going with that? You smell what I'm stepping in, as Denise would say. <laughs> See, I'll have all this going around here like this. And then maybe have a little bit of, you know, coming off. Because this is going to be space up here, right? So we can, it'll come like this. Let's get rid of that. Now, if the cats aren't in here, I would blame the cats. <laughs> so this is kind of where I want to go with this. And then in, this will probably be space up here, but I want it in here too. So like, here, I'm going to get this brush. All right, let's see what I can do here. So it'll be encircling the stars. Maybe I should just kind of ease that up like that. So it almost blends right into the sand. I think that'll be a nice effect, actually. We'll just have that blend right up into the sand. Okay, like there's a hole. Still with the tour? <laughs> Something like this. It looks like shadows could be coming off here. Yeah. These shadows over here. And then have this be. I like how that shadow is very dramatic like this. And then have it down here. way off the edge, which I'm not putting a piece of paper there. It's probably going to stick those pages together. Like that. And then get my little bucket of stars. This. Let's dry that. Lost Interiors is number three and Secret Cities is number four. Okay. I think we lost them in the cafeteria. <laughs> what that means. Okay, and then go in with, you know, um, you know, some planets and things. Oh, I see I threw all my pencils over there and I can't find the pencils. There's my pencils. Oh. 
Let's move the collage off the table completely. More collage. Let's move that. I could even have one shooting star here. Something like this going on. And then the brush is back. I don't know if I'm going to do stars up in the, up there or what yet, but Now think. I'm a thinking I'm a liking it. All right. We're going to need a little nebulization. It's dry. Moving on. We'll do a couple more. All right, let's look at my notes. I don't think, okay, I did have that. So here was my thumbnail right there. Circle pillars, missed all through. But I didn't do the stars. See, that just came to me as I was doing that. But there was my thumbnail. Okay, page two. I don't know who that is. No name. I should have put my phone out. Am I? Mute it. Okay. Um, all right. Then this one is on page two. Okay, this one I have a waterfall. This is going to be space down here. I mean, how are y'all tired of seeing me paint space? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I'll do a quick one here. Not a full page. But. Oh. 
Are you getting some great? Yeah, I'm getting some. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know how interesting this is. I don't want y'all to be like, all right, yawn, yawn. But uh, this will all be spaced down here. Now, I won't do all the space. I'll just paint it black because I have to have this part done if I'm going to add something over the top of it, right? And then either Friday or Monday, when my next stream, we'll go back and do some pan pastels. We just like to mix it up. Do a little of each. You know? Well, I love making these new worlds out of these old abandoned places. And, you know, I'll, I've, sometimes I'll add flowers and spaceships and, you know, other things. Okay, so then after you do this, if we... Let's dry it. And I'll probably either put more clouds up here. Maybe I'll do that. I'd have to first match that blue. I have to match this blue sort of similar. I'm going to need a little bit more. Let's see. I need to dull it down. Not that green. I want a two green. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to match sort of that sky color. It doesn't have to match exactly because I'm going to put clouds over it. But I want to get enough blue in there. It's not enough. Let's go a little bit more. I just want to get enough of that to, I'm going to I'll block out the text. That's what I'm trying to do there. Just block out the text. And then we can add our, some clouds. So let's just make our own clouds up here. All right, let's move it. Move it. Oh. I'm going to make, here's my fingers full of clouds. Always hard in the ditch. <clears throat> okay, so now we made our cloudy sky. That's when you need a planet peeking out. Stuff all over the floor. I'm digging. Digging. These two, I think. This one. Okay, this one. 
Too big. Let's cut that down a little. There we go. Maybe even in the mountain a little. I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm just going to tack it down for next time. No shadows coming out of it and whatnot. Okay, so there's that. Now down here, what I want to do, where's my bucket of stars? Start. And then I'll have a waterfall coming down the building. Again, I'll do planets and stuff down here. Quite dry, but I'm going to try to move on. Right, let's see. My water is black. All right. My water is black, so it's going to probably dull down my waterfall here. <clears throat> I'm going to have this at this angle. And what it's going to do, it's going to kind of creep down over here. And then it's going to come straight down. And then, oh, I had that planet. What did I do with that planet? I thought I put it up here. Where's my little planet? I had a little blue planet. There it is. So what I'll do is down here. I'll have this here. It really needs to be glued down, but I just want to show you what I'm going to do with it. Stretched out some of my stars. Oh, that'll work.
too thick over that side. This side would be farther away. So anyway, this is where we'll head for this one. Even though it's just started, it's just a base, just a start. And then way back up in here, way back up in here, we'll have tiny little bit of water coming down from up here. Very tiny, though. I should put that in with the Posca so I can get a thin line. It's far, far away. So I'll continue, you know, I don't want to rush it. And I, you know, got to kind of, I am kind of hurrying now. And then. It'll be more. Let's get that in there. And I can go back with the pasta again. But I'll just continue on and, you know. And I'm going to put a lot more detail. And like I said, I don't want to have to hurry because I'm going to have planets and all down in here. So, yeah, I better stop. Like the waterfall, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley, if you want to talk to me or anybody. Put it in caps. I know sometimes it's hard if you're on your phone, but otherwise I just happen to look up and see you're talking to me because I'll miss it. All right. So anyway, you can kind of see, and then we put our own clouds up there. We could put another, you know, some other little planets or any, you know, we could do whatever we want. All right. So let me look at my um, thumbnails again. I just did these while going through the book. I think we're on page on page two. I did number them. Okay, because see, I haven't done anything, but that's this one. <laughs> um, this one I said I wanted to put little people. So how I do little people, oh, my mask, I'll show you on that. Um, here's some of my collaged masks. Uh, which one has some people? Okay, here. See those little bitty people? I just paint in like essence of people. See how little they are? They're just kind of like, almost like stick figures with shadows like that. And it just gives you essence of people down there. These are my half masks here. This one and this one are half masks. And then this one's the full mask. I want to make some more of these at Halloween. But anyway, I wanted to show you that right there. Just that little section right there with the little people. That's kind of what I want to do here. I want to have these little tiny, tiny. I don't really want to do them right now, but I'll just kind of show you how little I want them to be. Can you see that? Let me just put little. I'll wipe them away. But I just want you to see how little I want them to be. They're going to be a little path down there. See? Like that. Thanks, Lynn. See how little those are? That's how little I want them to be. And I'll have like a whole row of them coming along this little path right here. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll put uh, light behind, you know, in a shadow. I mean, I can put little 
little shadows behind them. Like this. See? Like that. So that's what I wanted, something like that on this page. There's page, all right, so that was page two of my notes. Too many people. Um, this one I said I wanted flowers. I wanted flowers growing off of this. I think that was the one. This one I wanted all, um, like you're walking down the steps into the stars. Let me get my brush back. So like in this one, and I'll probably continue this down. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. I don't want to get rid of her yet because I don't know how I want to incorporate that. But I want these stars. I want you to walk down these steps. And they'll be. You see how I'm going with that? Okay, so that you'll walk down these steps into the stars. Okay. I think we all might be getting bored. <laughs> I was going to say three and a half hours, and we're at three hours and 22 minutes. Okay, let me look at my notes and I'll just kind of flip through and tell you what I'm going to do on some of these. Okay, so water. I want a waterfall here. Um, this one, this one I'm going to put in space right here. With, and I have note that I want a, um, a spaceship in here. So we're going to have a spaceship in there. Um, oh, this right here, I'm going to make these into pianos. These will be pianos, <laughs> you know, with, and I'd have to look it up because I don't know where, I don't, Jean is probably not here, but, um, <laughs> but I, to get the right keys, you know, the black keys where they are. So I'm going to turn these into pianos. Um, what else do I have? Where's page three? Okay. These are going to be um, towers of flowers. So on each one of these, I'm going to want a. Come on, Posca. On each one of these, I'm going to want flowers. Each one. Now I'll, I'll probably put this in space too. This will all be blacked out in space. The, they'll be floating in space. But they're going to have flowers on the top of each one. But again, this is all going to be in black. Black keys sets of two, then three, then two. Okay, thanks, Jean. <laughs> Jean's like this, I'll tell you, unless she's napping. Okay, so that was the Flower City. This I want to do. I want to put... Um, of uh, different pattern papers on this one. This one, I want, they're like bells, and I want I want music notes to be floating out of that. Music notes floating out of that. This one, I want to put um, different glyphs, symbolic glyphs on here. And then this will be space behind here. But I really like that sky. So I might make the, I might just black this out. Like this will be the space. Um, but like, and I keep saying, well, I'm not going to do another one. But I get to one and I really want to do it. So like this right here. The temple will be like stars. So I can leave that space, right? Maybe we'll keep the staircase like this. This will be the space. This will be, you know, stars and shooting stars. 
you know, I just keep keep with the ideas, but you know, they're in my head. Like this. Quick, I'm gonna be quick. This wipe away the ones. And then what I want to do is put a watch. We'll have um, that'll be space in there. Look down here on the floor. What well, I got in the watch department. <laughs> Where's something in the watch department? At least for an example, I'll just tack it down. What we'll do is have time. Hey, country girl scrapper. Okay, we're going to have that there. And then we're going to have... This will come all the way off. I don't know if I want the hands to come right there. I'll put another one. Like this. You can't hardly really see that one. But it'll come up and we'll put a planet up there. Put a little planet right there. Not green. Oh, I like that blue one. Let's see. Or maybe this pink one. Ooh, let's go with this pink. I'm just going to tack it down again. Remember, I'm not gluing anything yet. Okay. Make it a little littler. And then this will be... Yeah, exactly. It's space. And then we'll put the, uh, you know, like we did. Let's go back to one of the other ones. It was one that we did earlier. Here. Here's the one we did earlier, if you're just joining us. Um, this is our finished page. I say finished. I might tweak it. But you see how we did space up here? All kinds of things going on. Planets, stars, light, whatever. That kind of stuff will be inside. You can do that inside each one, you know. All right, so here's our quick idea. This one, let me go back to my notes. I'm going to try not to do anything. I'm going to just try to flip, okay? I got another one. This one, I want checkerboards. These are going to be chess boards. I say checkerboards, black, you know, checkerboard, but chess boards. These are going to be chess boards. Uh, this one, I don't have a note on that. This one, this is going to be fish swimming in water. No, wait. Water is going to be up here, and the space is down here. Light, light shooting out of the windows. What else do I have? Do I have any more? Yeah, I got more. Um, that was page three. That was page four. That was page four. Page four. These are going to be... These, these are going to be different colors. Oh, okay. I'm trying to read my own notes. These are going to be soldiers, and they're but they're going to be holding paintbrush and pens. So in other words, like behind their arms here, or however I want to do it, they're going to have paintbrushes and, and pens. Like, you know, nib, pen nibs so and paintbrushes. So each one is going to be holding a thicker, it'll be thicker. I just do a line. But they're going to be holding paint brushes. Oh, let me just do an example. Let's just do an example here. They're going to be like this. Okay. It's going to be like that. <laughs> like this. 
It's fun, Lynn. So they're going to be holding paint brushes and like a calligraphy pen. That's that one. That was that idea. Okay, let's see. What's the next one? This one, um, the branches are going to extend everywhere. I just did make a note of that. This one, I just made notes about to research why they have those kind of hats. I want to understand that. Okay, the next. I had I didn't write anything on that one. I don't think I wrote anything. I'm trying to follow them because I didn't write every one. My, okay, here I caught up now, so there I missed one. This one is this is gonna have different water features in that one. This one. Um, this will be space. I'll have mist and stuff, I'm sure, in this one. This one, the wind is going to be coming out here like, you know, like, where's my, where's my white, where's my white paint? What do I do with it? Where's my bucket of paint? Oh, no, that's not it. No, this. So like this, we'll have something like this. You know, it'll come out through there like this. And come back up. And of course, I'll put paint out all the edges and everything, but we'll have it come out like this. We'll have to put a little bit of shadow in there. This may be a blue. A little bit of blue shadow, maybe. That's kind of what I had in mind for that. And I keep saying, I'm not going to touch it. And then this will be all like, I said, I'm not going to touch it. Then this will be all like down here. This will all be painted in. And stuff going on down here. With the black, kind of black. So this will all be down here. Something like that. I think all dream books can be very free. Yes, yes, it is. You know, I just don't don't overthink it. Where's my at least I'm trying not to overthink it. Oh, got too much black. I don't know where my bucket of stars is here. Just see my room. Should I show y'all my room? <laughs> y'all want to see? <laughs> y'all want to see what the, the hot mess it looks like? Okay. I don't know what, uh, I'll leave it for you. Yes, this is the new Abandoned Civilizations. Bye, Lynn. Okay, so anyway, guys, I, I'm probably really overextending my welcome. That was page four. Page five, where's page, is that page four? Where's page five? It's eight, that's nine. And where's page five? Where's page five? Okay, I have some more ideas for waterfalls in here. I'm just trying to follow my notes. Oh, this one's going to be fun. And then Petra, Petra here, this one. Ooh, I am going to want to leave this and this will, and I'll just do the space around it. Masada, another, I thought about the chessboard and the wind again coming out here like, 
I can't, I can't stop people. I need to go eat my chicken. Judy. Jennifer would say, go eat your chicken. <laughs> Let's try this. I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep flipping here real quick. Trying to give you as many ideas. Of course, you know I got my watches. One will probably be up in here. Kind of guesstimate the size. Well, something will be up in here. I'm just going to tack it down here. We'll have the watch hands coming out. I'm just using, I'm just tacking it down with uh, a glue stick for a minute, you know. Thanks, guys. I hope you all had fun. This, I want to do a koi pond down here. This will all be a koi pond, or it could be space, but I think I want space around. And then I'll put all this in there and make this a koi pond. What else do I have? That was page, that was page five, that was page six. Seven, here's page six. I got nine, I think I got nine pages of notes that I took. This one, oh, this one too. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to have to just go eat some chicken and I'm just going to come back to my studio and play. This one is calling my name, people, calling my name. <laughs> You're welcome, Jean. Thanks for being here. I hope everybody had fun. This one, look, it's already got my stars going, but what I'm going to do is make it swirl. All right, I'm going to stop. I'll stop right after this because I did do a flip of the book. I did flip the book for you guys, but look. We will have some coming over the top. And of course, we'll probably have to have, you know, stars and, you know, all kinds of things going on here. But I want some of these to come over. Like right here. Doesn't that look cool? Won't that be good? I know. <laughs> I love my abandoned places. All right, I'll stop. Let me dry this and I'll show you the one we finished. Here's the one we finished today. I'll post a picture on Twitter. So I hope you all had fun. <laughs> that, I'm glad you liked the hump day, guys. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll, I'll post a picture of it. There we go. Let's see if you can see a little closer. All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for being here on Hump Day, y'all. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye.